Today I'll be talking about how to create a very simple program on BlueJ, um, programming in Java code, and the program will be just a way for the program to print the message hello world to the terminal or to the screen or whatever you want to call it. And I'll be using BlueJ because BlueJ is a program used, it's an IDE used for basically teaching Java. So you can't do much with it, you can't create a massive program or anything but when it comes to learning the very simple basics it is the m most useful tool in my eyes so I've opened BlueJ and I've created a new project and in this project I'm gonna create a new class and I'll call this class hello world now if I wanted to describe a class to you the way I'd describe it is a class is the different parts of a program that you create and classes work with, work with each other to make the program work so if I was to use an example of a game, I'd say there would be a class for the player, there'd also be a class for the enemy, there'll be a class for the world where everyone where the game actually exists in, there'll be a class for the coin, and there'll be a class for every factor of this game, and they will be able to link with each other. So for example, the um, the player will play in the world, the player will have collision events with the enemy, so if it runs into the enemy or touches the enemy and so on so that's what a class is but in this case we just need this one single class and we called it hello world so if we open this class blue jay gives us all this writing as like tips kind of thing but we don't need any of this so we're going to delete all these things within it and we're also going to delete this as well and we're going to keep the public class hello world open close curly brackets and this just sets out what this where this class starts and where this class finishes now within a class we can have many different things one of these things are called fields and fields are things that you create that the class can use later on so for example I can create a private string and call it message or I can create a private int and call it number now what I've done here is I've created an integer it is a variable something that I can refer to later on and it, it can be an integer and nothing else apart from the integer as I've specified here and its name is number so if I was to use it later on the way I'd use it is I'd say something like number equals equals zero and this would mean that this thing here equals zero a string is like a it's the string is the same thing however in a string you can use any characters you can use letters numbers anything you want it's, it's a mix so when we're going to print the words hello world out we need to use a string obviously after creating the fields we need to create a method so what is a method? a method in Java is and in most programming languages is something that you can it's like a function of that class or of that program it's something that you can use or call they say in Java to make something happen so for example you can have a a method for printing the message for example it will be public void and we will call it print message and we open and close there the parameter field there is no parameter in this and I'll explain to you what this is later and then we open the brackets and then close the brackets the curly brackets and curly brackets are always important in anything you do because they show you where it begins and where it ends what you're talking about so sometimes there's an if statement where you'd say like for example if something equals one for example then you specif specifically do everything in this code between this and this so that's why curly brackets are important in Java but anyway back to our method what we want to do is print the message up here so at this moment in time if I was to actually do this with and this command here is a well-known command in Java it's system with a capital S dot out dot print ln and what it means is it will print the thing specified within its brackets onto the terminal this doesn't mean that it will print it onto the screen like it will in BlueJ's case but if I was to use something else another IDE like Eclipse or something and I used this command here it wouldn't actually print it out onto the screen like you'd think in a game it will show you how many lives you have or something it would only print it into the IDE's little comment box which gives the developer information about how everything is going on so it's useful to a developer but not to the user at the end of the day but anyway let's get back to it 
we want system.out.println and then in here if I was to say the message is the bit I've put in the quotation marks here to here the bit that's turned green will be printed whatever happens these words will be printed onto the thing when I call this method here but then I can add a uh, object to a variable which is message and this is subject to change obviously because message is just a string that can be lots of different things and at the end of every line of code you need to have a semicolon to specify that it's the end of the line of that code now if you compile this there's no errors and if I were to run this for example and I call that method print message let me just redo really this because I had printed a message earlier so I've cleared it up and I call the method print message as you can see the message is what I specified no and no means it doesn't have a value it doesn't mean zero because zero is a value zero can be false is also a value no just means it doesn't have a value it's not false it's not true it's not zero it's not ten it's not one it just no so this is because we've created a string here yes but we haven't actually given the string any sort of value so at the moment it's no and it's and we've told it here to print out the value of message and as you as I've said earlier it's no so there's two things that we can do with this to pr make it print hello world one way is we can make it specifically print the words hello world and nothing else so in this way as I sh was shown earlier we make the field message the variable message equal to hello world and then when we finish it with a semicolon and then compile it as you can see there's no errors and now if I was to create a new version of the class and then call the method as you can see this is where it is I'll delete it and call it again the message is hello world so as you can see what we've created here this is the simplest program you can make and this is like the first beginner thing that everyone is taught we've created a field which is a string called message we've then made the method and a method is some sort of function for that class and this method is to print the message and we've given message of a uh, value or some sort of what it is and that is hello world and then we've told the program to print the message hello world now what if we say we want to specify what the message is before we print it we can also do this we have to create a new method for this and let's say specify message and print I don't know just you know now what we would do is same thing as before to start a method but in this field here this one is empty but in here we're going to need to create something now what this bit is is when we call this method it will ask us to specify something in here so if I create a new string and we call it message as well and I compile this and if I was to create this class and call that specify message and print as you can see it's asked me what is the value of the string within the brackets and this would work with anything if I was to say string and then int m for example and then I call it now it's asking me for the string message and for the int m what is the value of these things so this is why we need to specify in here that we're going to create a new variable which is called message and it is a string and it is only used by this method here because if we want it to be used by other methods as well like messages we'd have to create it as a field up here but it's only used by this method and it is called message in this case we need to tell the program that this message here must equal this message here and the way we do this is by saying this dot message and when you say this dot in Java it means the field which is specified at the top of the class so when I say this dot message it means this message here and not this message here I could always use this no matter what the case but let's say if this example is called message 2 then I wouldn't need to use this dot because there's no confusion because they have different names when I say message the computer will know the machine will know that I mean message but because they both have the same names in this case the, com uh, the machine doesn't know which message I'm on about this one or this one so I need to make sh make specific specifically specify that this is this message is equal to this message here so what we're saying is the value of this message which is null when we first run the class 
is equal to what we have specified up here. And then after this, we can do the same thing. If I, I can just even copy and paste this. And we compile it, and that's sorted. Now, if we was to create a new class, and then we were to run this method, it's going to ask us what is the message we want to print. Now, in, because it's a string, it needs to be within quotation marks. If it was an integer or an int, it will just be a number like that. But when it's a string, it must be within two quotation marks. And let's say we say Java is boring, <laughs> something like that. And we say OK, here you go, the message is Java is boring, whatever I specified in there. And that is it, that is how the first steps of Java and the first steps of creating a field, creating methods, and making something equal to something and printing that message out into the terminal. Thank you for watching and I'll create for, uh, more videos in the future.